Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you yet another wireless video system. Uh, this one is the Cinei Pro 2 from Asun. Uh, so the company that made this wireless video system, I actually already reviewed one of their other systems before, which was their smaller, a lot more affordable system uh, that offered actually some pretty cool features because it allowed you uh, to basically connect to any wireless uh, device. So you could use that as your screen. Well, this system basically has that same option. So as you can see, it's streaming right here to my phone, but you can also uh, send the signal to a receiver. So it actually comes with a, a transmitter and a receiver. So this way you can get a higher quality signal uh, with lower latency than you would get uh, with a standard mobile device. Now, the biggest thing that makes this system, I think, stand out from all the uh, other systems on, on the market these days uh, is Asun's Gemini dual band transmission technology. Uh, I'll talk about that in detail a bit later in the video, but in short, it provides a lot more stable signal than traditional Wi-Fi transmitters. Uh, before I do show you guys the outside long range test, I just wanted to quickly show you uh, how the latency is. So this monitor here is actually connected directly to the receiver, which I've got up here. And the cell phone here is receiving the signal from the receiver uh, over uh, basically Wi-Fi. So anyways, this is the latency you can expect to see. When I move my hand, this is how it looks. Let me switch camera so you can see kind of more or less how, how the latency is. It is very close, like my testing, the Wi-Fi signal basically that the mobile devices will receive is actually fairly close to the, you know, what you're getting up here. Now, overall, you also got to keep in mind that uh, you might be introducing some latency basically from the camera itself. I actually have the signal right now coming in from my camera to my video switcher here. Uh, and then to the, the, the transmitter, so there might be some extra latency. In, in my tests so far, it's pretty close to what basically the specs are, which uh, the, the manufacturer advertises the system uh, with having a latency of 0 0.06 seconds, uh, so, or 60 milliseconds, a very low latency, and uh, basically means that you can use it for a professional kind of a gig, uh, and definitely if you want to rely on this uh, to be able to, let's say, pull focus and things like that. Now, one thing I did want to say about the app itself is that it's actually a pretty damn well-designed app. Uh, it's very clean looking, and but at the same time, it gives you uh, all the really pro features that you would expect to see on like a professional monitor. Uh, so you have, for example, you can load in LATs, uh, you have histogram, waveform, uh, false color, all, all kinds of things like, uh, f you know, focus peaking and things like that. So you, all kinds of cool things you, you can do in there. Again, pretty much turns you, any mobile device, uh, whether it's your phone or it could be a bigger tablet or something like that, into like a professional uh, monitoring device. But anyways, now let's jump in and let's do the long range test. So for the long range test, obviously I've got the transmitter mounted on the camera, but the receiver is here uh, connected to my monitor. Plus I'm recording on a GoPro so you guys will be able to see what I'm seeing. If at any moment you're wondering what, what distance I am from the camera, just look in the corner of the video. Anyways, let's go. All right, now I'm at uh, uh, 200 feet from the camera. I'm going to tell my camera operator to zoom in. All right, I'm at 300 feet away. Uh, this is how it looks. So getting a perfectly good signal. I don't see any really delays uh, or, or any increased latency. And also it just, yeah, it's clean, nice and sharp signal. So anyways, I'm gonna keep on walking. All right, so I'm at right now around 500 feet away uh, from the camera. And again, let's test the latency, uh, seems like there's again no no uh, increase in latency and the image looks perfectly sharp so gonna keep on walking all right so now i'm at uh, 900 feet away and uh, the signal looks good to me there doesn't seem to be cutting out uh, and even though as you guys can see it is open line of sight but keep in mind there's pretty much every house here has wi-fi uh, you know networks plus there's cell phone antenna actually so there is a lot of you know uh, signal interference uh, but it is open line of sight and uh, as far as i'm looking again there doesn't seem to be any increased latency or anything like that uh, so i'm going to keep on walking further so now I'm at 1,200 feet away, and uh, again, I can see myself. 
there's no really latency maybe it's slightly increased the latency or maybe not <laughs> there is no decrease in the, the image quality so it looks just as sharp and detailed as it did before so I'll keep on walking even further and I'm at where is it oh, and now it is it's getting a bit choppy now and I'm at around a distance of 1300 feet and yeah it's getting cutting out a little bit let's see okay there I am in the frame <laughs> can wave okay so I'm still getting a signal here but like I said it is uh, it's starting to cut out basically but I'll keep on walking all right so now I'm at 1500 feet now it's no longer open line of sight and as you can see signal does come in and out uh, and again keep in mind this is 1500 feet and the reason is simply because the, the street just starts curving here so there's no way that I can I can actually be you know have an, a clear open line of sight so that, that's gonna be the end of my test I almost forgot but I wanted to actually test out and see how the cell phone the, the basically the signal going over the Wi-Fi is gonna work so I'm getting a perfect signal oh now it's cutting out a little bit now this is at 900 feet now I'm not gonna go any further because when I go past 900 feet it seems like the Wi-Fi signal no longer works the, uh, as you can see that uh, you know the standard antenna here works perfectly but the, yeah, the Wi-Fi signal doesn't really work well past 900 feet, at least not in my area, because again, there's a lot of Wi-Fi interference here. So I'm back, as you guys could see, going all the way, uh, well past 1,200 feet. I was getting perfect signal here uh, using the, the uh, four antennas. Now on the cell phone, up to 900 feet, which is amazing, because again, it's going over Wi-Fi and there's a ton of Wi-Fi interference in the area, 900 feet, it works perfectly past 900 feet will start breaking up um, I'm guessing again if you're out in the wilderness where there's no other Wi-Fi interference you could probably even you know make, make it work even even further so anyways it was a pretty good long-range test I'm really cold so I'm gonna head back in so hopefully that long-range test is gonna give you guys a good idea of what you can expect uh, again when you're using it out in the field uh, mostly open line of sight and that kind of thing uh, keep in mind obviously that if you have uh, a lot of obstacles in the way or if you have a lot of also uh, wireless video signals uh, really strong kind of like I have up here in my studio that is going to create uh, some problems now Cine i2 Pro is equipped with Asun's Gemini dual band transmission technology uh, allowing it to stream the video signal via 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi at the same time uh, this means that the receiver can identify any interference and combine the two streams to form one complete audio and video stream, uh, which greatly improves its stability and uh, anti-interference cap capability. In essence, the dual band transmission on the Sinai 2 Pro is far more stable than traditional Wi-Fi uh, video transmitters uh, that, for example, only stream in 5 GHz. If you're working on a busy set with lots of wireless signals, Sinai 2 Pro will be able to handle it and provide a glitch-free stream. Now the good thing about the system is that it operates on multiple frequencies but at the same time it's very simple and straightforward when it comes to setting the system up because you literally just turn on the transmitter receiver and it, they just pair on their own, they, they discover each other. Um, now in terms of the signal, uh, this thing basically will accept a 1080p signal up to 60 frames per second but it can take all the other like lower resolutions whether it's uh, 15 you know 9.9 .9 or for 25 frames or 24 you know all those all those standard frame rates uh, and the same thing for when it's outputting it's out outputs at 1080 uh, 60 frames per second so as you can see both the transmitter and the receivers are pretty identical actually uh, and when it comes to the the weight the, the size and everything uh, they're very similar so much so that sometimes i uh, actually have uh, problems uh, kind of distinguishing between the two but they are actually marked here on the sides you'll, you'll it says transmitter receiver there uh, you also see a little nap here that's for adjusting the, the group because again you can have multiple of these on set uh, and you know let's say you want to be able to operate them all uh, but without you know getting confused which which one you connected to then you can basically switch different groups and you have up to what is this, 16 groups there so uh, you can have a lot of these uh, on on the set at the same time 
Um, you also have a, a USB-C connection. That's actually for connecting it to a camera uh, because you can actually use these to basically trigger certain cameras. So you have to get the right cables and all that stuff. But certain cameras, you'll be able to remotely start and stop them. And you can actually do that using the app. Um, on the front here, you have your display and you have basic buttons. You have your menu button in the middle, then you have your left and right. And that's pretty much how you're going to navigate to change any of the settings. But like I said before, I mean, most of the time you're pretty much not going to change anything. Really, the only thing maybe you can change is uh, you can change the, the quality versus speed. So if you want to have, let's say, at a longer range, less of a latency, but maybe sacrifice slightly in the quality, then you can basically switch those settings. But otherwise, you're pretty much not going to be changing anything, which is a good thing. <laughs> the, the receiver, the same thing. You can basically change all the same settings, as you can say uh, up here, but you can also do them using the, the receiver. And now on the right side, you'll have your video input. So you have your HDMI in and out here, uh, and then you have your power button. Uh, good thing about obviously having the in and out is that you can loop the signal, obviously, so it allows you to let's say, send the signal off to a monitor or something like that. Now on the receiver, you only have one HDMI connection. That's because there's only one uh, HDMI out. Uh, obviously, later on, when you see connected to your monitor, you can split that signal. But yeah, that's basically what you have there. And then again, you have your power button. Now, as far as powering these units, uh, they're basically both going to be powered using the Sony NPF style batteries. Uh, they have you have the plates here in the back, um, you know, very solidly built, but very thin, actually, very light. Uh, and you'll notice also you have little here connections for DC. Uh, that's because, again, if you want to, you can power these uh, using uh, basically any DC connection here. Or, like I said, the Sony NPF style batteries. And that's pretty much it. And then they, both the receiver and the transmitters, they come with uh, antennas. As you can see, these antennas, uh, you can adjust them, you know, kind of spread them out if you're not getting, uh, if you're basically getting too much interference. You might get a better signal that way. But to be honest, so far when I've been using it, I pretty much just leave them straight up and they, they work no problem. Uh, but again, if you want to, you, you, you can do that. You can adjust the angle of these antennas and stuff like that. So uh, pretty solidly built system. As you guys can see, it works how it's supposed to work. Uh, it gets the signal across. The signal quality is actually very good. But really to be able to see that, you. you pretty much have to get the system yourself and and look at the quality but yeah you can use it so let's say if you wanted to use it for like uh, let's say you're doing a live uh, video switching and you have a camera really far away you can use it uh, because again the, the video quality is going to be broadcast quality basically uh, you're not going to see any compression artifacts so uh, overall very cool wireless video system uh, and again for the price you're getting a system that has a lot more features than than similarly priced systems or you know if you're gonna again get a system that has all the same features you're gonna pay a lot more so uh, definitely if you guys are looking for a wireless video system uh, with some cool extra options then take a look at, at the cine i pro 2 from uh, asun uh, anyways, my name is Tom Antos, and I'll see you guys in, in the next video. Until then, make sure you guys check out my website at TomAntosFilms.com uh, for all the other reviews, filmmaking tutorials, and uh, a whole bunch of cool articles and posts. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!